Ngayon ay mag-add at subtract naman tayo ng mga rational expressions. So, sa pag-add at pag-subtract ng rational expressions, tandaan nyo lang yung formula ng uh, pag-add and subtract ng fractions, which is if we have a over b plus or minus c all over d, ang sum or difference niya would be a times d plus or minus c times b all over the product of b. MD. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin sa pag-add at subtract ng mga fractions with different denominators. So, for problem number 1, notice na parehas lang yung denominator natin sa problem number 1. So, we don't need to use this formula it's because u minus v all over 8v plus 6u minus 3v all over 8v would be 8v and u minus v plus 6u minus 3v. And by simplifying this, pwede natin i-combine c u minus v plus 6u minus 3v all over 8v. So by combining like terms, so c u at 6u would be 7u at c v and 3v would be negative 4v all over 8v so since hindi na natin siya pwedeng i-simplify ito na yung sum no ating first fraction so yung sa second fraction naman we have 3 all over x plus 7 plus 4 all over x minus 8 now, dito sa example na ito, notice na yung denominator natin ay magkaiba. So, gagamitin natin yung formula. So, by using the formula, we'll have 3 times x minus 8 plus 4 times x plus 7 all over x plus 7 and x minus 8. Now, notice na sa pag add and subtract ng rational expression lagi lang natin sinisimplify yung numerator at pag simplify ng numerator by the distributive property we'll have 3x minus 24 plus 4x plus 28 all over x plus 7 x minus 8 by combining like terms, we can combine 3x and 4x, which is equal to 7x. And then yung ating constant na negative 24 plus 28 would be equal to positive 4 all over x plus 7, x minus 8. At ito yung sum ng problem number 2. So sa pag... Uh, Sagot naman nung number 5, since subtraction natin, sa subtract natin yung dalawang fraction, we have 6 all over x minus 1 minus 5x all over 4. Ang formula ng pag-subtract at pag-add ay parehas lang. So since magkaiba yung denominator, we'll multiply 6 and 4 minus 5x times x minus 1 all over x minus 1 times 4. So by simplifying the numerator, um, 6 times 4 is 24. Ito ay magiging negative, since negative siya, magiging negative 5x squared at positive 5x all over x minus 1 and 4. And uh, mapapansin nyo na hindi na natin masisimplify yung uh, numerator. So, pwede na lang natin siyang i-rearrange para maging standard form. So, negative 5x squared plus 5x plus 24 all over x minus 1 times 4 yung problem number 5. At yung uh, last rational expression natin, subtraction pa rin siya. 
at magkaiba yung denominator. So, pa gagamitan ulit natin siya ng formula. So, sa 7, we have 7 over 3 minus 8 all over 12x minus 8. So, by using the formula, we'll multiply 7 and 12x minus 8 minus 8 times 3 all over 3 times 12x minus 8. And by the distributive property, we have 7 times 12, which is equal to 7 times 12 is equal to 84 x minus 7 times 8 56 minus 8 times 3 which is 24 all over 3 times 12 x minus 8 so by simplifying this negative 56 and negative 24 would be negative negative 80 at 3 all over 12x minus 8. At since pwede pa nating i-simplify yung ating expression by factoring, so pwede pa nating i-factor out si 84x minus 80 para magkaroon tayo ng ang um, factor niya would be 4. This would give us 21 x minus 20 kasi ang fact, greatest common factor ng 84 at 80 ay 4 at dito naman sa 12x at saka negative 8 ang greatest common factor naman niya ay 4 para meron tayo dito matitirang x minus 2 so by Canceling out the common term, ang pwede natin ma-cancel out is yung 4. So, ang simplest form natin would be 21x minus 20 all over 3 times x minus 2. At yan yung uh, pag-subtract at pag-add ng rational expressions. At kung uh, may natutunan kayo dito sa video na to, please uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.